This video is uh, going to go through adding content to the home page. The home page is obviously an important page on the website. I usually spend a fair amount of time um, working on it. Now, I'm going to assume you know very little or nothing about WordPress. So, the Studio Press or Genesis theme home pages are uh, use exclusively what we call widgets and they're nicely mapped out on the default here now clearly we don't want this text so we've got a number of what we call widget zones or widget areas in fact we have six there plus a top left for seven and it doesn't say so here but this whole white space is also a widget zone which we're, we're in, in, in another video I will show you how to put in the slideshow this video is going to go through how to work with these homepage widget areas and add your own text and images. Once you see how I do this, you'll have a, a good understanding of using widgets. Again, it's done in the back end here. So it's under Appearance. And we go to Widgets. Here's our widget panel. Your widget zones, where you're going to actually put content, is all listed on the right side here. Okay. On the left side, these are the different types of widgets by default you can put in. Now you can get different uh, widget functionality. I'm not going to go into it in this video through uh, through plugins, but we're not going to do that. We'll just work with the default, and there's quite a bit here to work with. So. The primary sidebar is not the home page. That is the sidebar for every page but the home page if you have a sidebar in your layout. And it's the same thing with the secondary sidebar. That's if you use a three column layout. The home page starts with the home top left. Home top right is that slideshow area. Home middle one, two, and three, and home bottom one, two, and three. So you see these right here, and here they are indicated as well. Let's change our home top left. It's a text, so we just want one of these little text boxes. So I, you always get, you have to muck around to make sure you don't put too much text, or make sure you put enough text to fill the box. I like to add automatically, uh, add paragraphs, and then click save. Let's check it out. Here we are, top left, it's uh, changed the text. You can see that it automatically included a paragraph. This is probably, I would probably add a little bit more text if this were going to be a real live site. You can also add images, which uh, we'll go into next. And that's it. So this widget zone, that's exactly how you would change your text. Now, now these widget zones down here, you can add tons of text. I, I have a few client sites where I put tons and tons of text. I break it up with sections and put in titles and images. And so, you know, you're not limited to the amount of space that's indicated here. You can put less or more content in each widget. And that's great. Now you'll notice here that you don't have a sidebar on this home page. Okay, it's called a, a number three widget for middle and bottom. If we go to the sample page, you see now you have a primary sidebar widget. So what happens is, is you can end up with having a totally different right sidebar on your website. And that can be good, it can be bad. Usually what I do is I somehow configure these uh, number three widgets, home and uh, the bottom and the middle, to basically replicate what the sidebar is going to be on the rest of the site. So if I create a, a sidebar here, which is the primary widget, and I put in uh, blog categories and some testimonials uh, and a contact form, then what I'll do is I will put that same content on the right side of the home page. And that way it makes it uh, that people are able to navigate and see much of the same information on that right sidebar. But you don't have to do that. You can make the home page uh, um, unique compared to your other pages and blog posts. I'll illustrate that by putting in uh, some primary sidebar content. Let's just do a 
There, we'll just do it uh, quick and simple here. It's uh, just uh, some test text. Save that. We're at the home page, so it's not going to show on the home page. And now we're on the sample page, and you'll see the uh, test text sidebar and that, that shows. I just want to make a comment about sometimes there's a really long delay between uh, making a change in a widget zone and adding content there and for it displaying on your website. It can be pretty frustrating. Uh, I paused the video here. This this took about three or four minutes for this uh, change to take place. I, sometimes you have to refresh or even log out of your website and log back in to see the change. So if you make a change it doesn't show, that's just because there's this delay or you need to refresh. So don't worry uh, thinking that your, your theme is broken or your WordPress isn't working. The last part of this uh, home page video is I want to show you how to uh, add images into a widget zone. Now there's a lot you can do with widgets and, and through the course of the other videos I'll be using widgets uh, more and more with other functions and features but for now I'll keep it simple so you can get some basic content on your home page. But if you want to add an image to a widget zone there's probably a number of ways I've created my own uh, ways to do this. What I do is I like working in a um, in the visual editor and what I do is I just create a draft. I don't publish this, I just call it whatever image it's going to be in, in the home page. And what I do is, is I upload an image into here and then I will convert it to HTML and then I just take that HTML and uh, copy it over into the widget. So I'll, uh, I'll get an image and to upload an image into the editor here is this button. I've uh, selected, I clicked select and I found an image I'm going to put in there and this is what you get. You can add a title and alternate text and I generally do. And then you can choose different sizes. We'll go full size. If it's a larger image you'll have more options in terms of sizing. And it's great because it automatically resizes it. The resolution looks great. And you can choose your alignment. We'll go with none. We'll insert it in the post. So there it is. I uh, then like to click the HTML. So here's the code. Now, I mean, I could have coded this directly into the widget, you know, if, but this is so much faster for me. Um, I take the uh, easier uh, path of least resistance whenever I can. So I'm just going to copy that, uh, save the draft, go back to widgets, we'll place it in the home middle one. Now, in order to add an image, you need one, I know it says it's a text box, but essentially what this is, it's, one of the, it's a free for all. You can put uh, images in here as well, and you can embed videos if you like. I've done that for a lot of websites. It's no problem. And there we are. Uh, usually I'll uh, center align it so it's centered within the widget zone. And done. Here we are. So now I have an image in the widget zone. You can add text under there if you like, that's not a problem. We'll just go back to the same widget zone. It's a home middle one. And do a space. There, I added uh, two paragraphs of text under the imaged text. Here's our new text. And we'll check out the home page. And here we are. There's the new content. So you could do this and you could design 
your whole home page filling in all of these widget areas. Uh, again, I usually reserve the, the right side uh, zones here to replicate what my sidebar will be. Common features I put in there for my business websites are I put a contact form at the top front and center. I want the contact form on every page and I'll, I have another video about contact forms. I add testimonials if I have them uh, and I um, and I do have them for my business websites and for I, more, more importantly for my client sites I get them to get testimonials and I add um, images sometimes, uh, phone numbers, locations, just real pertinent contact information so every visitor can right away see uh, a, our contact information whether it's a form, a phone number, our locations and that sort of thing and so uh, it's it's really easy for them to get in touch with you. That wraps it up for tweaking a home page uh, it gives you enough of the basics to, to dive in here and create a good looking home page for your business website. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.